How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel. First off, I want to send out a great big fat hairy thank you from Chris from the Bronx because he sent me a fabulous letter and something that came in the box that the letter came in. Number one, let's read the letter. Brad, I hope you enjoyed this figure as much as I have. I've included something to either help your channel or buy your family awesome gifts. I consider you a friend and one of the coolest people I know. Chris from the Bronx. Now, what, what, what Chris sent me in the mail in the box is this here, Man of Steel Superman. I do believe that this fella is actually from Sideshow Collectibles or Hot Toys or, or Hot Hot Side Toys. I get them mixed up because they both do pretty much the same thing. Hang on a second, let me Google it. Like I said, it's from Hot Toys. Now I'm gonna be completely and totally honest, without Chris, without you Chris, mailing me this fabulous item, I would not have it. I would not be able to afford it and add it to my collection. I'm just gonna be completely serious here for a second. There's always a level of guilt that comes with the fact that somebody has sent me something more than a letter or a picture. Maybe there shouldn't be, but there is. I just always feel kind of bad that someone has given me something more than the cost of a piece of paper and ink. So Chris, honestly, Thank you. I'm really, really appreciative. And by the way, everyone, it did come with the base and the hands and everything else. It wasn't just the figure, but I've only got the figure here in the video. And I'm going to add it to the rest of my... Wow. Over here. See, I've got some taller ones over there. Chris also sent me the Batman. <laughs> so, that's two big ones that he sent me. Chris has sent me two big ones! Chris, as always, thank you very much. You are a true super friend. And thank you for looking out for the channel. Oh, and also, by the way, by the way... That little extra something that he included, that was a monetary gift to help the channel. And so that money, Chris, I'm actually going to take that money and I'm going to put it towards my summer trip to the States where I go on the hunt in the States for stuff that I can't necessarily find in Canada. That's going to go directly to a toy hunt in America. We have a very small crappy selection in Canada and that's the truth. Now, before I get on to the second part of this video, I do want to apologize that I'm recording this from my webcam, so the quality is just absolute crapola, but it is the way it is. I tried to record this video like three other times, and it failed miserably and fell on its face, and then my camera battery died, so I thought, nope, it's a new day, I'm just going to start this video brand new. So, and my turtle, my turtle's over there making noise, he's trying to get on his little floaty thing over there. That's my turtle. He's going to be in the video. Make a noise, because that's what turtles do. So yeah, the other part of this video is actually talking about this channel itself and sort of where I'm going with it and what's happening. <coughs> that was a burp. Sorry about that. I just had a bowl of chocolate rice krispies. It was absolutely fantastic. Anywho, yeah. So, you might have figured out by now that to produce content for this channel is actually really expensive. It's not cheap. I spend a lot of money on the stuff that I review on this channel. Now, I know Brother DC Geek is not just a review channel. We all know that. We've known since the beginning. But a huge portion of the content that I make on this channel, the stuff that gets the most views, the stuff that's the most popular, the stuff that connects with you folks the best is the review content. And the thing is, I just can't do it anymore to the same extent. Like, not even close. There's so many other things I've got to pay for in life right now. My deck out back behind my house is rotting away. I've got to replace the clay insert in my chimney. I probably should repaint the front of my house, too. I'm like that house on the street where all the paint is cracking on all the wood. And if I'm being completely and totally transparent, even on a good month, I'm always spending on this channel way more than I'm making. Uh, listen, I'll just tell you, my best month ever on YouTube, I made about $450, maybe $2 more than that, but about $450, and you're like, wow, that's a lot of money to make on YouTube. Sure is, considering almost nobody makes anything on YouTube, I've been very blessed, very lucky, depending how you look at it. No way around it. 450 bucks is a lot of money. That's not usually how much I make on YouTube. I usually make anywhere from 200 to 250. That's my average now. I have seen it going up, but I can't count on it to... The $450 month was when I had all those views from that Shazam video, if I'm being honest. And that's like... That's not going to happen again for a long, long time. So I'm not going to have another 450 I'm just going on a long time with this. The point is, in a month where I made more money than I've ever made on YouTube, I still spent more than double that on stuff for the channel. Here's what I mean. I make 450 and I guarantee I spent at least a thousand bucks on this channel. I spend so much money to bring this content to you. And I love it. I collect the stuff anyway. 
it, it, being honest, I probably buy a lot of it sooner and faster than I usually would because YouTube is so competitive. I know a lot of you are right there with me saying, hey, just upload the videos when you can and I'll just come back and watch them. Well, the thing is, a lot of people won't because it's a constant competition to end up in the sidebar as recommended, to get your videos to become authority videos, and also to have people have your videos show up on their homepage from consistently watching your stuff. Most people actually don't check their sub box. Most people just go to their homepage or they watch you because you're recommended in the sidebar. That means I need to stay competitive if I want this channel to grow, which means I've had to spend a butt pile of cash to bring you interesting content and or content that is brand new, that is competitive with YouTube so that the algorithm will go, hey, that guy exists, let's promote him. It's just the nature of the beast. That's what it is to be a YouTuber. Most of the time people upload videos on YouTube, people that put lots of work into their videos and they get almost no views and it's really, really sad. Well, I work extra hard on my videos to make them extra good for you so that hopefully by the time you get to the end, you're like, wow, the video's done. That, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was rather than going, oh my God, it's a big, long drudgery. How long is he just gonna have this thing in his hand and like be going around and showing us the stuff. I try to make sure that things are boom, 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 so that you're entertained while you be informed. That That's my goal, to make the very best content I can. I try to treat the way that I create YouTube videos the way that I used to write songs. Very formulaic and always something happening. I don't like my videos to be all long like a ballad. I actually apologized in a recent video for making a video that was 24 minutes long. I don't like making videos that long. They are too long as far as I'm concerned, even if it is six figures. The point is to make these videos and to be able to release them as frequently as I do and to be able to put as much time and effort into each of these videos as I do, it requires money. It's, it's expensive. There's no way around it and I can't keep doing it the same way. Now, the stuff I've already told you I will be reviewing, I've got the DC Essentials stuff from DC Collectibles, and I've got the rest of the DC Multiverse stuff. Joker and Penguin are on their way here as we speak from the Multiverse line, I, and those reviews will be up shortly after I get them. And then there's some bits and pieces, some Mezco stuff, you know, there's the Shazam Mezco, uh, Mafex, I mean. So there is some stuff coming, but there really is less stuff to review. And I do want to get other stuff, but the problem is I just can't keep afford. I can't afford to keep spending the cash on it. I just, you know, I, I need to spend more of my personal money on personal matters rather than trying to grow this channel. Cause every dollar I put in this channel is like, it's like a water jug and you're like watering the plant, hoping the plant will grow. Every dollar is a drop of water in that jug. That's how I see it. You got to spend money to make money or you got to, you know, you go to college, you got to spend money for your tuition. You want to start up a business. You got to spend money to start the business. I want this YouTube channel to grow and be a DC place for all things DC and for fans of the DC universe. And to do that, it involves for me, a significant financial investment. And I can't keep doing it like that. So I've got a few solutions. One, I've actually had a Patreon account set up for like two months and I've never actually made it go live yet because I'm afraid to set a Patreon account live. Number one, Patreon, if, you, if you're familiar with Patreon, you'll know that the way Patreon works is that you're kind of on the hook to give a, you know, a certain amount of money, a tier, first, second, or third tier every month. They just withdraw it from your account. That's why the first tier is usually a dollar because it's easy to forget that you're giving a dollar. And even if you haven't watched the person's channel in six months, you're like, oh, well, it's a dollar. I'm not going to miss it. I'll just keep giving it to Patreon account X. I don't want to be that. I really feel I've struggled with it because I don't want anyone to feel like they're on the hook ever on a monthly basis to donate to my channel. Even though I don't see it as begging, a lot of people also see people that are on Patreon as people that are begging. I don't. I see it as it's crowdfunding. It's like PBS or here in Ontario, we have TVO. It's a way that you crowdfund, you, you crowdsource the channel. It's viewer supported is what it is. And I, I, I wanted to open the channel up for viewer support, but I didn't want anyone to ever feel like they were on the hook for anything. So that's why it's still not live. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments if it's something you want to see me do, but it's still not live. I don't believe you can look up my Patreon account and find it because I haven't submitted it to them for review yet. The other option I discovered and thought it might be a reasonable way to actually help fund the channel is you'll notice now, maybe you haven't noticed it, it's been there for about a week, in the top right hand of my channel uh, banner, you can see a little PayPal button. That is actually to donate to the channel. So if you go, you know what? I know it's expensive what Brad does. I know he puts a, a lot of hard work and effort and I appreciate what he does. 
I kind of want to donate to the channel, and you can make it a re repeating donation, of course, there's an option for that, and I didn't know that when I set it up, or you can just make it a one-time donation, you can go, damn, this video was hot, I really liked it, and I hope that he can do more like that, I just to show my appreciation, you can make a one-time donation to the channel, where the money then goes back into the channel for buying better stuff and more stuff and because I want to do all kinds of stuff from the past and stuff in the future. I like the fact that this is an action figure archive of all things DC. That's kind of what I'm building from all ages of DC. But, but crowdfunding to me seems like if you guys really like what you're seeing here, if you really want to see it continue and, and I've been completely candid and said I can't keep spending the same amount of money if you really want to see more videos happen, then you can always donate to the channel and that will enable the videos to happen. And the more money that I make in donations in a month, the more that I can put back into the channel and the cooler stuff that I can, I can get to review and make videos about to entertain and inform you. That's, that's my idea. But I don't want anyone to ever feel like you have to donate anything to this channel because you do not have to donate. This is my channel, this is my thing, and I'm hoping to make it our channel and our thing, but nobody is ever on the hook. You can always just come back and watch the videos regardless of whether you donate or not. I don't want anyone to ever feel bad or guilty because they didn't donate because that I'm not about that life. That is not my jam. I think that's it. I have said a lot of words, and this has been recording for a long time. So thank you, everybody, for watching this video. If you made it to the end, that's awesome. Leave a booyah in the comments if you did. And I'll see you next time in the next one. All right, super friends, have an awesome day. Bye-bye for now. Take care. Yeah, I just did that. I just did the whole thing with the chair. And it's not cool. I'm not cool. I just almost knocked my mic over. Bye-bye. <sighs>